Talking about character with children is not just a descriptive exercise. It introduces them to the idea of empathy. Farmer Duck is a perfect book to get children to talk about the people in the story. They will get really interested in the old farmer and maybe describe him using vocabulary which is not on the page that the teacher has not introduced, showing their ability to apply their knowledge, their vocabulary, their understanding in the way that you would expect to if you were reading a written description of a character. There <coughs> once was a duck who had the bad luck to live with a lazy old farmer. The duck did the work. The farmer stayed all day in bed. Who do you think he is? Oh. He's eating chocolate. And he's lying in bed. He's lying in bed. He's very lazy. And he's lazy. Oh, he's lazy. Can you think of any other word to describe this lazy farmer? I know, oh, big. Big Lillian. He's very, very fat. He's very, very fat. Any other word to describe Selfish. him? Selfish. Selfish. That's a good word. I think he was sad. Who was sad? I think a farmer was sad. You only need to look closely at that picture on the front of my two grannies to see that we've got a happy scene. Two happy people holding on to a very happy little girl. Those are their characteristics. That's showing us what their characters are like. Interestingly, we turn straight into the title page and we see the same characters looking rather grumpy as children are very happy to tell us when we share this book with them. Can you see them in this picture here? Yes. What do you think that they look like in that picture? Do they look the same as they did on the front? No. Yeah. They're, 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 they're sad. They're sad. I know. Oh, what else could they they're be? They're crossed. They're crossed. I, I think they, they're arguing. You think they're arguing? What do you think might have happened? Because in this picture, they're all happy. In this picture, they're not. I know because, yes. because they're grumpy, that's why. Because they're grumpy. One of the most important things that we gain from literature is the ability to empathise and the use of that empathy to understand things that we may not encounter in our own lives, to understand other people's circumstances, other people's ways in which they make decisions, that we actually are put into their shoes and make decisions with them. If we can talk about the characters in picture books, they can often tell us things about how people are feeling, why they are feeling like that. Oh, look at Sam. What do you think he's... How do you think he's feeling there? Sad. 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 Why do you think he's sad? Because he, he can't get his balloon. Look at that girl with the balloon. Has he still got the balloon there? No. no. He's got his dad. He's got his dad. And he, is he happy or sad? Happy. happy. Why do you think he's happy? Because it's, he's, he's, he hopes his granddad likes it. What do you think he's thinking? Happy! happy. 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 Why do you think he's feeling happy, Shanice? Because, uh, because, 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 yeah. because the farmer was upsetting him. The farmer was upsetting him. And is he still around? No. no.